It's Kiana, owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And it's time for your monthly. Let's see. Who's Taurus! Ooh, you all came out early this time. All right, Taurus, you are earth. You are fixed. You are ruled by Venus. If your birthday is between 420 and 520, these messages may resonate. Or if you have prominent placements, moon, ascendant, Venus. Sources are very reliable. They can be very possessive. They are romantics at heart. And they don't really like sudden changes. Don't switch up on a Taurus, okay? All right, let's get our space set up with our Divine Love Kit Hits, which is available for purchase so you can set up your own ritual space. Okay, okay, let's do this. Grounds and rock, because I just feel like y'all need it. I think everybody does this time around. Love for you. Get it cracking. I am an intuitive reader. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it don't fit, don't force it. It may make sense, it may not. It may make sense later, who knows. I'm an intuitive reader, so what comes up comes out. <laughs> we never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I got my love oil, your ylang ylang, and sandalwood. Such a nice uh, love combination. We are in Scorpio season, child, so the love is running deep. It's running deep. And Scorpio is your um, opposite sign. So, uh, you could be really feeling some good energy right now. All right, let's see what's coming for you, Taurus. Look like some messages of some, some good things coming, some transitions, <clears throat> some hidden truths. Yes, yes, come on. You guys are going to be doing everything. I think you're going to be like nurturing yourself, being in the spotlight, doing a lot of healing. Lots of offers and opportunities and messages coming your way. Look at this. Come on. Happiness and abundance for my Taurus. It makes me excited. You can be moving fast. Fast forward movement. Lots of nurturing of your pentacles, which, of course, you're a Taurus, right? <laughs> blessings upon blessings upon blessings for you, Taurus. Lots of peace, though, too. Like, um, Okay, something ready to pop already. Let's see. Yes, lots of hard work paying off. Lots of building. Infinite abundance. Okay. Infinite abundance for you, Taurus. Dang, your money going to be popping. You're going to be winning. You're going to be like getting all the wins, accolades. Like the world is going to be open up. Your old chapters are closing. New chapters are um, starting. Lots of celebration. Lots of empire building. So don't get don't get uh distracted by the discord. Like those, like you got a lot of positive vibes coming your way. So yeah, don't get distracted. Remember to work in collaboration. Remember to work for the greater good. Because you're going to have a lot of opportunities coming. A lot of doors opening. You could have some financial um, uh, missteps for a second. Like some things that are going to take you outside of your comfort zone financially. But it's just so that you can um, really step into your abundance. Find your strength. Like really dig down into to that. Because you're going to have a, a lot of... A lot more money coming um, towards you. People want to invest in you or people or you could be getting raises or something like that. Door of value is open. Money's going to be coming at you. So if you do come across, you know, some type of financial hardship, don't, uh, again, don't get distracted by it. 
because you're moving forward you could be literally moving too towards traveling um taking a lot of action it's time for you to stop procrastinating i feel like you are um just needed to do a lot of a lot of fast uh forward movement you need to do more exercise and things like that a lot of good stuff though for you coming for you yes i feel like these is gonna be so good so i skipped october if you're looking for october -y, it's not there because i didn't do it <laughs> i just skipped it i just you know hey it happens stores it happens i know you don't like change that doesn't make sense like you can't go from september to november right but we're going from September to November. First, just remember that all reads are timeless. So when you get them, it's right when you need it. Come on. I knew it. I knew it. You get it all. Yes, the money. I want that like that. You get in all the money, Taurus. And I'm here for it. I'm here for the money. Yeah, some of you are definitely moving. Um, woo! you a Kiana card and I'll pull you an oracle card um, at the end just for another little message of wisdom however spirit leads me to pull um you got a few uh okay you got two Kiana yeah two Kiana cards you have a few major arcanas um and they're both Scorpio energy too so they're both um and we're in scorpio season <laughs> you can be dealing with a scorpio or scorpios around you but i just feel like it's just the energy that's coming for you right now so i know you don't like change sudden changes so you better get ready because you got sudden changes coming you got sudden changes yes you do You got the tower card and the death card out here. So listen, right away, again, Aquarius had this same thing, like out the gate, attachment. So I feel like what's happening in um, right now is that the universe is sh shaking people up to let go of attachment, like material attachment. You're, you're attached to some material. Um, you have to make a decision. It could be about work. It could be about job. It could be you needed to leave your job. Oh, or your house moving. Yeah, so something that you're attached to material-wise could, like I said, could be a job, could be your home. Um, You are almost like being forced to move. So you could have gotten fired, laid off, um, had to move for some reason. Maybe something broke down in your home. Or um, something like that. Or if you was like renting, like maybe the landlord is like forcing you to move out. Something. you're, But you're attached to it. You don't want to go. You don't like the changes that are happening. Sorry, Taurus. Yeah, you're fighting it. You're fighting this change. You're fighting this. Whatever this is, you're juggling a lot and you're fighting it. And it could be feeling very burdensome and very heavy. Yeah, you don't like what's being offered. Listen, you're being... Taurus, listen, you've been stubborn. <laughs> what Taurus isn't though, right? You're being stubborn, Taurus, and it's time for you to really get 
into physical alignment like with your material things it's some things you need to let go of so that you can move forward you can't take this stuff with you Taurus. like <sighs> yeah so you're fighting for something that doesn't need to be fought for you're being you know having your guards up it's like you're going to war not wanting to accept what's happening but it's actually you're gonna i feel like you're gonna get offered another offer like, you don't like what's happening, you don't want to change, but you're being offered something better, but you can't see it because you're so busy fighting and trying to not move forward, and it's time for you to move. I know you're comfortable. I get it, Taurus, but it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you. What's happening is that you're releasing things that no longer serves you physically, and, you know, when your physical space is clutter free so is your mental space so you guys are physical your earth so this is how universe is hoping you and teaching you through the material so you could be needing to move homes and you might not want to but you're going to go to a better home you could be needing to move jobs you don't want to but you're going to a better job so this is how universe is moving you so you are going to be get you know offered love you are you going to have offers that you love you just have to first let go and stop fighting you are going to have some, you have choices to make. And so you can keep holding on and resisting being stubborn, but that's not going to help you. You, I definitely feel like you're moving. I definitely feel like you um could be moving homes. Lots of healing going on for you inside of this move. So like maybe um you're moving out from somewhere. It doesn't look like a breakup though. I don't see that. So you could be your whole family could just be moving. Um, but it just feels like you need this healing, peaceful energy that's coming towards you with this move or a vacation. Could just be a vacation, but I feel like it's a move for you in this instance. And it's gonna be healing and nurturing to your soul. And you could be, you know, you're going to sleep more peaceful. I was talking about that with my friend. I was just saying that, um, you know, ooh, okay. It's a different type of peace, right? When you sleep somewhere that there's no gunshots or ambulances. Like a city compared to like country living. Um... And it's just more peaceful. I feel like when you when you do move, you're just going to have more peace for some reason. It's going to just be better and relaxing. It's just a new journey. You got a lot of cards fall out. Again, two of pentacles. Again, juggling too much. Needing to get stable inside of your material wealth. Um, material options. Queen of swords. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Libra, or Gemini energy. It's time for a new big, it's time for a new start. I feel like um, you're, you know, in, a lot of healing energy is going on. So if you had some ailments or anything like that, you're needing to rest, you're needing to heal, you're needing to like lay up. Um, and this move is going to help you with that, get more rest. You have to like, you're juggling too much. You have to decide what needs to go, what needs to stay. Um, the Queen of Swords is here to help you. Could be um, love energy, right? Could be a lover. Um, but I feel like they're wanting to, to do this thing too. So maybe you're not wanting to, um, move Taurus, but the queen of swords is like, let's go. <laughs> the queen of swords don't care. They're cold. Um, you know, it's like a cold shoulder and detached. Like they'll throw shit away. Um, you be like, wait, wait, wait. Like the Taurus is like, wait, wait, wait. Don't throw that away. I need that. And the queen of swords is like, you don't need this. Throw it away. Um, <laughs> but it could be very helpful for you because it's time for you to do that. It's time for you to like move forward. It's time for you to move locations, move jobs. It's time for you to do some things different. Lots of changes coming your way, Taurus. But you just have to have faith. You just have to take a leap of faith, move forward without all the baggage. Like, you know, for you in this case, honestly, it doesn't feel spiritual. It feels very physical. So without all the physical baggage that you would want to take you got to leave some stuff behind it's going to be good you're going to be blessed you're going to get that stuff back tenfold Taurus. like you know how you are you are um a material magnet right 
So you're going to be good. You're going to have offers at your love. Your cup is going to overflow. It. You're going to be really good. Um, so even if this is like a financial thing, like you're moving because like you have to get rid of stuff because you may be downsizing or something like that, it's still going to be really, really good. So your finances are changing, but I feel like they're changing for the better. That's why I'm saying like just breathe easy. So like maybe right now the finances aren't how you want them to be, um, but they are changing for the better. You're going to have like drastic changes. You could literally have some type of windfall of money coming towards you like a bonus or um, I hate to say like a wheel or something like that, like an inheritance, but you could have like... A, big money coming but sometimes it just doesn't look like like with the the tower it just looks yeah with this move because you're it's like you're moving like the tower is coming <sighs> okay Taurus I know you're so stubborn you're not trying to hear me the tower is coming to move you you are being stubborn and stuck and not wanting to move forward you're comfortable where you are inside of your finances you're like i like my i like this job i like this paycheck i'm getting um, i like this house so you won't move but the tower is coming because you have more abundance to get you have more money harvest time for you so the tower is coming to shake you up shake you up shake up your foundation all the way up Get it all the way down so that you don't have no choice but to move forward, no choice but to have a leap of faith, no choice but to, um, you know, go get the new job, go get the new home. Move outside of your comfort zone. And when you do that, Taurus, like the money going to be so good, you're going to be like, damn, why didn't I do this before? <laughs> why did I stay at that job paying me, you know, pennies and I'm over here now making millions? Like, I should have been moved forward. I should have been moved. You could literally be moving far too, like out of town or something. But you're moving to more peaceful, tranquil places inside of your um, life. Which is, it's just going to be better. So it's good changes. And you're fighting it. There's no need to fight. Like it's good changes that's happening. <sighs> stress, no matter if it's positive or negative, it's still stress. So I get that. But like Taurus, relax into this money, okay? <laughs> relax into the change because it's coming. Whether you relax into it or not, I saw you. Yep, now in a cup. So you're fighting it and it's really just bringing you all your wishes fulfilled. So like maybe you've been wanting to have, you know, a, a seven bedroom house instead of a three bedroom house. So you wanted a new car or whatever a job where you make good money but maybe you work less hours like the change is coming so that you can have everything that you wanted everything that you desire so you don't have to keep fighting your desires just move forward let the tower fall let the chips fall where they may they're gonna fall regardless like you could keep trying to catch the chips as they're falling but they're gonna fall so stop being stubborn let the damn chips fall, Taurus. You just got a lot of money out here. Joy to value, blossom in abundance. It's beautiful. But you also have this hostility with it. And I feel like... I feel like this could be you. Like, you're mad. Like, why are you so freaking mad, Taurus? Taurus is just see red. I always talk to money my friends talk about that. Like, you guys just see red all the time. Like, <laughs> don't be so mad. Like, just mad and stubborn. You're going to begin some communication coming in. I feel like you already could be going back and forth with someone you're arguing with. Um, could be about money, too. But I do feel like it's a lover, though. Maybe because your lover, like I said, is ready to move forward and do stuff. And you're like, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to move forward. Yeah, lots of air energy still um, inside of this cup energy too. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, lots of Scorpio energy, lots of um, air energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But yeah, you're not you're not trusting your intuition. You're just being mad, and so you have to like. <sighs> 
it would it would be nice if you trust yourself if you dig down into your intuition into your soul and see what's really happening what's really needed the door to value is open you're going to be getting so much money um it's gonna be good like it's gonna be like you know whatever you value is gonna grow so money of course material things um love you know you are guys are ruled by venus you're very romantic so that's gonna even um grow too um you have a lot of soulmate energy so like you're gonna be i feel like you want your person although you guys could be having a little you know having some arguments or whatever you're gonna have to trust your intuition trust um the love that you have for each other so the back and forth the back and forth <sighs> child listen you have to decide what you want to do that i feel like the the attachments and the the back and forth the toxicity is it's gonna just keep you um stuck inside of your finances like you're gonna keep blocking your money like your money you'll probably see it trickling in because the door to value is open so it's gonna come through but if there's blockages it won't fully all of it won't come through it'll get stuck so you want to make sure that you're not having financial blockages by being stubborn and petty arguing back and forth with somebody you'll be getting a lot of information coming in and you're going to have to know like what you should be concerned with and what you shouldn't like don't get distracted um by petty discord things that just does not even make sense that's not even worth your time you have to trust god and universe that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and you are exactly where you're supposed to be at and again financial windfall i feel like you're gonna be getting a lot of money from somewhere somehow so be open to different avenues of money new job bonus um inheritance gifts right you could be getting gifted a lot too that people could just be wanting to gift you but this soulmate energy is really like you know this lovers is like warm and fuzzy you guys could really be um doing some great things together around money too around value working together or something like that you are being so stubborn like you are transitioning you are transmuting you are you know universe is like next leveling you like things have to die in order for you to be born again but you're all tied up about it you could have had some actual um loss and it could have you feeling like again like stuck energy because maybe you lost somebody lost some loved ones yeah yeah i feel like you have lost some people that's very close to you and it has you all tied up and bound up like most people don't like transition but in this case i feel like the, you know they don't want you to be stuck they want you to have all your wishes fulfilled and i feel like they're like hey what are you doing yep <laughs> you keep getting into a physical like you're doing too much i feel like your, your people are saying you're doing too much bro like <laughs> like i transitioned so that you could be great i transitioned so that you could have your wishes fulfilled i did my job i did what i was supposed to do and i moved on um, so that I can give you energy a different way. So I'm going to need you to stop being stuck. I'm going to need you to stop feeling like you're bound up. You're not. I got you. All your wishes are being fulfilled. Stop doing too much. And just, just relax and just go with it. Just go with what feels good. Yeah, stop arguing. Stop being petty. Oh, stop grieving. Yeah, you're definitely in some type of grieving space. Oh, lots of lots of grief and sadness and just moving away from things and people you could be like isolating you could be um you know just doing some self searching self seeking but they want you to be happy they want you to be married they don't want you to keep fighting um like, you could be fighting over assets, too. I do see, like, money. I feel like, I don't know why I felt like that even before this came out. Like, it's some type of inheritance. 
So you could be fighting over um, money from a lost loved one who, um, you know, who that's bringing you a lot of sadness and a lot of grief, a lot of pain. But it's still like the transition. So that I honestly believe so your wishes can be fulfilled. And you are having to walk away from some things. You're doing a lot of walking away, a lot of soul searching, digging down deep, really finding out who you are. And that was a part of that transition so that you can do that inner healing work. And um, you're going to have a celebration. I feel like you want to get some type of message coming in fast. With, um, and you're going to have a celebration. You're going to be celebrating with friends and family. It's going to work out. It's just like really like sad now, but... The information that you're waiting for is coming. It's going to help complete this transition. You just have to get outside of your head of being tied up. And like I said, like I do see, I don't know why this is like a wheel. Goodness gracious, this is like, <laughs> this is going a different way than I thought it was going to go, Taurus. But I do feel like you're going to be coming into some type of document. Some type of strategy you're about to oh my god <laughs> now it comes again like i'm telling you i don't know what this is about you know your life i don't know your life you're gonna be so freaking happy when like this wheel is red or this contracts or you know some type of document well, like the truth is going to be come out and it's going to be financial. I feel like it's going to be like if you were, you know, mediating or going over something, you're going to, you're definitely going to win. And I feel like it's just going to be you, you, you be showing your own reason as the queen of pentacles, nurturing, loving, materialistic, you know, home, taking care of home, taking care of your health. But all your wishes are being fulfilled. So whatever this is, um... Yeah, you're going to be celebrating. I feel like you're going to get, like, some good news. Um, something is going to be written in stone. Like, you're going to get, like, some good news about something, some type of financial windfall, some type of, um, you know, wish fulfillment. It's just going to make sense. It's going to feel good. And you're going to be celebrating it. You're going to be celebrating with other people that are very close to you. Yeah, you're going to get the victory. You're going to get real clear about what's going on. You're going to be cutting through all the BS. This Queen of Swords is here too. And the King of Cups is back out. Um, So again, a lot of, again, like I said, lots of Scorpio energy. Um, lots of air energy going on. And then, of course, lots of uh, Earth energy. So you're going to be getting a victory. You're going to be winning. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So whatever this thing is that you are being attached to that's got you feeling hostile, it's got you feeling all tied up, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get some relief. Woo! It's going to get some relief. I feel like you need... Um, what do you need? Okay. Flower therapy. That's what it's saying. I feel like your loved ones is wanting to talk to you. With all these transition cards out here. But you're going to get um, the abundance. It is going to be some sudden changes. But it's going to be good. Whoa. Let me get you one more. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Open your arms to receive it. You pray for help. Now be open to accepting it. See, I never know why the universe told me to pick the cards that it picked. But that makes sense, right? So I got three cards for you because I just feel like it goes with what's happening um, inside of your read. I know it's a little heavy, Taurus. Sometimes it's just like that. Like I said, what comes up comes out. Um... So that's what it is. So your flower cards. Let your inner beauty shine. You are a brilliant example of God's love. Everything about you is perfect. So let your light shine and inspire others. Uplift your thoughts. Focus your attention on the many blessings that surround you. By doing so, you'll let go of depression, 
poor self-esteem, and excess weight. What I say, I told you, you're going to be focusing on like so many different things. Healing. And then open your arms to receiving. You have prayed for help, now be open to accepting it. And your Kiana cards. I have to get back to my rhythm and flow. I have to get back to taking care of me. I have to do the things that make me glow. When you improve self, the world improves because of it. You got this, Taurus. Thank you so much. Please let me know how it resonates. Uh, comments are always welcome. If it fits, let me know how it fits. I love to hear you guys' story. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share to the channel. If you need to get a divine love kit, um, a, a hoodie, yay, because it's cold here. <laughs> If you'd like to join my private membership group or join my tarot reading membership, then you can do so. All the uh, links and information will be in the description. All right, Taurus, I love y'all to life. Peace.